South Point students returned to the halls in the midst of a major transition. Earlier in this first semester of the school year, students were given the option to remain virtual or return to campus for their second semester. Based on the results, approximately 845 students are set to return for the second semester. Here's how South Point is preparing to up the ammo in the war against COVID. Aside from COVID prevention posters, sanitization stations, and showing videos like this one throughout the school, there is one more major change being made. Before students left for winter break, these shields were in place. Now, with more students returning to the classrooms, these large four foot tall shields have been installed at every desk. As a parent, I first have seen um, the classroom, um, that they're doing everything possible to keep our kids safe by having the, the, um, the dividers set up and making sure um, they have appropriate um, sanitizing stations. Um, just keeping everybody at a safe distance. Due to the increased protection provided by these shields, Rock Hill School District 3 has implemented new limitations that include class sizes being able to double and the original six-foot personal space being cut in half. I'm Sharday Sparks with Straight to the Point.